How you doing? This is Keith from Custom Works Performance. Today we want to discuss uh, some kind of a misconception that people have. Uh, phone calls we get all the time worried uh, that our spring packages are going to be too stiff for your vehicle. Uh, a lot of times what we tell you is your springs really don't dictate your ride quality. Your shocks are what dictate your ride quality. Case in point, this is our car here. Uh, we use it in competition. It has a very stiff spring in it. Uh, it's the spring rate in the rear is about 250 pounds uh, and with the use of an adjustable shock here's how I can demonstrate uh, the difference between uh, uh, shock quality and shock settings and ride quality in your vehicle. Right now it's set at a very very soft uh, shock rate uh, compression and rebound and you can see how easy it is to move the car up and down. Okay, now we have changed the shock settings to uh, something more of typically we'd use as a track setting on the car. And you can see the car barely, barely even moves. Okay, here's an example of what your shocks do. This, this shock has been adjusted, it's a double adjustable shock. It's been adjusted so the compression and the rebound dampening are fairly soft. And as you can see, with not a whole lot of effort, I can push the shock in or out and by simply adjusting this shock to about its, I don't know, midway point, you can see that it takes a, a lot more force to move this shock and what it's doing is it's introducing friction into your suspension to sort of dampen the movement. Another reason why it's uh, important to use um, you know, other bushings uh, other than, than polyurethane, uh, typically like our Delrin bushings in the shackles and, and in the control arms and stuff, uh, because those themselves don't introduce friction like a stiff shock would. Another thing you want to avoid is a shock that has a lot of nitrogen uh, gas charging to it. Uh, typically a lot of Bilstein shocks. Uh, the worst shock is probably the KYVs. Um, and typically you can identify those by a shock that's really difficult to, to compress, but when you let go, it comes shooting back out. As you notice, I can push this shock in and it doesn't move back out. Uh, that is just an identifier that this shock is not nitrogen charged. Um, that's why we definitely recommend, uh, we use a Coney adjustable shocks in a lot of our kit. Uh, we like those because they are rebound adjustable, meaning uh, the compression rate uh, on, on the rebound, the extension of the shock is adjustable and we like them because another reason is because they're not gas charged. A lot of times shock manufacturers put nitrogen gas charging in their shocks to make up for a suspension system that doesn't have adequate spring rates on it. And uh, when you buy a suspension kit from us we ensure to you that it's going to have the proper spring rates that you need. So really this is kind of just lets you know uh, really it's not necessarily your springs that dictate your ride quality it's more so your shocks. Thanks again. This is Keith from Custom Works. Have a good day.